this video is going to be on snails. I'm not doing no intro, I'm not doing no editing, any of that fun stuff today. I'm just going to show you guys that look at the amount of snails I have in here, and it's booming. And these are called uh, Japanese trapdoor snails. One bit, maybe two, baby. Let's see how many we can count. Um, and many, there are probably something hidden in those rocks, but there's another one over there next to the guppy. Let's see if I can get that to adjust. And then as we come down, we see a boatload more. I mean, a boatload. Look at that. And this all came from like two snails, which is great. I wanted them to. I purposely overfeed this, um, this tank, so I have to do so many water changes on this. But it's fine because I want to grow a nice population and start selling this to the public for these guys. But um, look at that. This this guy used to be tiny. Look at that. It used to be like that. But it's great. They're growing. Everybody's growing. And in here, I realized that I had two eggs and I had a common bristlenose in there that was I thought was too young, but still had eggs. So I have half super reds and half regular bristlenose. But yeah, let's see what we have down here. We have Corydoras. I have a huge female, I bet, in here. Look at her. And I also have a bunch of baby plickles. Albino quarries, which aren't laying eggs for me, and maybe I don't have enough of them. Thinking about getting some more. At the same time, I don't really know if I want to get into quarries like that. Even though they are nice, these guys are huge. Look at that. This is one my my male in here is a stupendous breeder. Um, what's it called? They've given me over eight batches. So they're doing great. Um, I have I'm trying another batch of super reds in there. Hopefully they can breed in there. But yeah, I am doing some little bit of maintenance right now on my tanks. Don't forget to put a bunch of them growing out right now. I split them up. I put a bunch of babies in here. And those guys are ready to go. These guys are still growing out. Hopefully I can end up selling it to them. But don't forget to purchase some of these amazing looking puppies. I have a new video came out on these guys, on this breeder box, which is still looking great. I'm gonna put a huge female in there and see what happens. I have a nice female in here that I wanna put. Let's see, there she is. Look at her, look at her. She is huge. I'm boxed off already. Um, I'm gonna put her in the breeder box, put some Java moss or Christmas moss in there, and hopefully they have babies in there and I can keep track of them. Better like that without losing any. But we're gonna try. We're trying new things out here. Um, I we'll have a bunch of baby guppy fry all growing out right now. Um, they all are from the same batch. I just don't remember which batch it is. Some of them grow faster than others. Um, and here I have these two a pair in here. I'm trying to breed just I can get a, a nice line going on from these guys. Um, right now I moved my some of these gold ones that I have available for sale. These are all for sale out of quarantine already. These guys. And down here I have these guys. Now I have the full tank now that they're out of quarantine with two sponge filters. These are my red fin dumbbells, are amazing. 